Okay. So part two of the uh, the Ustream recording of our live session, JKK Mobile and UMCPortal.com. Uh, JKK is now going to show you uh, the T91 and the S7 side by side, go over some of the, the major differences of the, uh, of the devices and maybe do a quick overview of the T91, JKK. There's yep. a lot of people in the chat session watching this, so it might be worth doing that. Over to you. Yep. Okay, so the first thing, of course, is the size. So let's go go a bit closer to them. And uh, as you can see, the T91 is quite a lot bigger. So, those of you watching on the Ustream channel, by the way, you won't see the zoom in. JKK got two cams there. If you're watching on live, you'll see the zoom in. If you're watching on Ustream, you're just seeing a webcam. Uh, yeah. Carry on, sorry. Okay, so the size, of course, is the, the first thing. It's uh, the, the T91, much bigger on in terms of everything but white. So, actually, the, the S7 is just a few millimeters wider than than uh, T91 you can see that there just a few mils maybe three three millimeters wider uh, but as you can see the depth is uh, is uh, against T91 they are about the same thickness T91 maybe again the Two millimeters, three millimeters thicker on the back. So on size is pretty similar. But one one strange thing is that uh, even the white is uh, is uh, bigger on S7. The keyboard is actually bigger on on uh, T91. So let me show you this way. T91 keyboard is about a uh, little over one centimeter bigger and the keycaps are a bit bigger. Of course, screen 7 inches versus 9 inches or 8.9. And the screens are a bit different. The T91 screen is way glossier, so it's shiny, 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 where, uh, where the S7 is brighter and a bit... It's not washed, but uh, uh, looks more like, uh, how would I say, like fluorescent look on the screen so i tested today outside and uh, i can see way i can see s7 outside on the sunlight way better than t91 so that's a great plus for that's good for for s7 yeah it, it was uh, it was so much easier if i was in a shade there was no problems whatsoever to use oh good you can check those those uh, pictures on my site so easy to find uh of course hardware wise both share the same CPU, same RAM, uh, similar SSD. They both both use uh, J Micron uh, controller on SSD. The T91 has only 16 gigs. No other options. Where the S7 has option for 60 gig hard drive or 16 or 32 gig SSD. So, but the SSDs are uh, almost identical. Uh, webcams build the same, both seems fine. Uh, Quality-wise, I would have to say they feel similar, but of course the shiny black on uh, on T91 gets dirty and, and uh, fingerprints uh, in seconds, but both are good quality. The hinges, they rotate exactly the same way, feel the same, both. Uh, maybe actually, the T91 hinge is bit sturdier. It's uh, it, this is already over a month old, and it's really actually quite, quite. Uh, you need some force to use it. Where where the S7 is quite pleasantly really soft. I don't know if that's for some it might be a good thing, for some bad thing. But it it feels different. Uh, both turn all the way down, but the T91 turns nicely almost 180 exactly where the S S7 goes a bit over the top that's a good feature if you're sofa surfing you just put put the device like this uh, on on your belly and and start surfing that's 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 something i would like to do more <laughs> uh Touchpad, multi-touch on T91, way bigger touchpad, of course. But uh, the positioning of the of the S 
S7 makes it so much smaller, so that can be a plus on either of. Both have microphones and speakers, which are good, webcam cams, which are good. Uh, so both are good for Skype. But I think, Steve, you said that uh, S7 sounded better uh, when we were using Skype and testing Skype. Yeah, when we tested Skype yesterday, there was a uh, noticeable improvement in your audio yeah. uh, on the S7. So compared, compared to when I was uh, using the internal mic on T91. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So that's 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 a great plus. Of course, T91 doesn't come with 3G where where uh, S7 comes. Uh, I would have to say that uh, for the mobility, S7 for the size and uh, at least in paper for the battery life might be better choice. But for let's say all-round productivity. I still like the T91 a lot. A bit bigger screen, a bigger bigger mouse pad. They they of course help on productivity front. Same resolution on both, so so that's not that a big de- deal. Uh, touch screen, uh, I actually felt bad on the touch screen first on S7 because you have to actually first clean it a bit because it had had this nasty sticker making making it sticky. <coughs> So, I don't know if you'd already done that, Steve, but you should if it isn't. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned so, that I need to clean the, the screen. It's sticky. Yeah. So, so uh, they feel pretty much the same. I would say the T91 is a bit softer. So, you need a bit less force on the T91. Not, not that big difference, but just feeling it that you might need just a bit more force on, on the Can you um, talk about the uh, battery life differences between the S7 and the T91? Well, I, I can't really measure that yet because I haven't done it, but I, I feel that uh, it might be some uh, uh, well, T91, four, four and a half hours uh, on my use, but this haven't get through the normal work, work day yet, so I would leave five, five and a half with uh, with uh, S7 on my typical uh, use, maybe even more. But as a disclaimer, remember not scientifically tested yet, just the feel of it. Uh, if you use it on standby, uh, uh, always when you're not using, if you close the screen, always when you're not using, easily get through the workday. Where the T91 is sometimes a bit. You have to think that is it loaded? Is it okay? If you want to have it full work day with you and and loaded, so yeah, yeah. It's, the battery life is feeling good. Not confirmed yet how good, but it's feeling good. good. Keyboard feeling good. Uh, I have to say I like the T91 keyboard more. I like the looks. I like the feel. I like the size more. But still, uh, it's, it's okay. Just talk talk a second about uh, you know where the two devices fit in uh, yeah. because to me they're two pretty different devices despite being very close in size um, they're enough um, different to be in completely different categories in my opinion the T91 just cu- cuts up to the edge of the netbook platform uh, sorry, the netbook category where you could use that device non-stop all day yeah. as your main yeah. laptop but the S7 yeah. just is on the on the other side of that boundary, which brings it down into the sort of U- UMPC category, which is a a mobile device category, which where you can use the device standing up, uh, on the go, in the car. Um, it's a lot lighter, y- y- especially for one-handed mm, use. The steam, uh, not a lot lighter, actually. It 100 feels grams. Dense. No, no, 180 yeah. grams, I think. Yeah, yeah, but still, it feels so dense compared to again the weight. Well, that's bigger, yeah. So. But I think um, certainly with one-handed use, you'd you'd notice that, no no problem. That's twenty percent. No, that's yeah twenty percent inc- no more twenty five percent increase. Steve, I really don't know. Yeah, I mean that's why I say eight hundred grams for one-handed, because anything yeah, more. And I've tried one kilo different. device. It's, it's it's just pain. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. my wimpy arms. <laughs> I really, I have to say that the weight is not on the tablet mode that not noticeable but yeah it, they are different in many ways I would say really that uh, the S5 is so much more 
pro mobile than T91, where T91 is, uh, for me, T91 is like really, really cool device with a uh, with, uh, possibility to use as a, as a real uh, uh, work, uh, a, a kind of workhorse also. Uh, again, ebook reading, I don't know. Uh, I don't do that, so it's hard for me to say the difference. I know that you are really strict on that weight and, and size distribution on, on, on a one hand use, but uh, I wouldn't really categorize that much. But as a crap and go device, this this just feels so, when it's closed, it just, it feels so good, it doesn't feel like it would break, and, and you just grab it, put it to the back, where this, the T91 is a bit like a, still like a fancy, uh, fancy, a bit bigger device, especially because it has the metal rims and so on, so I'm actually a bit more careful Maybe uh, with a with a T91 than with a with a S7. Right. Uh, I I have to be a bit different on 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 putting these to the different boxes. I I think actually they share so much that uh, the battery life, the 3G, the bigger SSD, of course, are the ones that really really brings to the mobility. Uh, if you buy this with 60 gigabyte hard drive, that kills the mobility for me at least hmm. totally. So then they would be in the same category. Mm-hmm. So the S7 is uh, 659 with the SSD, and the um, T91 is $500. Um, yeah. that's with SSD as well. But uh, 60 only 16 and uh, and no 3G. Well, Pretty no, the S7 same. doesn't have 3G yeah. at that price either. So yeah. what are you getting for your $160 uh, dollars there? Um, you're getting a uh, reduction in weight. Yeah, battery life. You're getting battery life. Exactly the same CPU on a platform, so performance is going to be exactly the same. You're getting a, a screen that's easier to use with your fingers because it's bigger at the same resolution, so that the PPI is, is lower. On, on T91. T91, yeah. yep. Um, you've got component S-Video and RG- RGB out if you need that. I mean, yeah. I'm not, it's debatable how many people are actually going to use that. I've had a cable for the S5 and the X17 and never used it. You know, yeah, I tested them, but that's it. Yeah. So for your $160, I'm just trying to, to work out what sort of um, features would be high on a person's list for them to want to pay $160 more for the for the S7. And I, th- I, th- I think it's... The changeable battery. Yeah, actually, I heard something about maybe extra batteries and such, so you can change the battery on, on S7. So that will be one thing. If you have a spare battery, you've got uh, two days. <laughs> two days yeah. usage for probably under a kilo. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'll have to test the, the bo- both of them out, but things like sofa surfing... Um, I don't know. I, I think there's seven possibly. I don't know. It depends yeah, which okay, one's yeah, easier to to, <laughs> to thumb type on. I mean, it depends if you're in tablet mode, of course. It's all those all those things to take into consideration. Yeah. Um. Actually, to be honest, sofa surfing, I probably wouldn't use either of the either of those devices. No, um. Use. I use um the X70 because <laughs> it's even lighter. Oh um, no! You, you don't, you don't then relax enough because I'm really uh, 180 degrees on the sofa, so so the device is nicely laying <laughs> on my belly. So that's so. Yeah, we saw that in your. Down, that's different. Yeah, we saw that in your last video, JKK. Yeah, that's the way I do it. That's the best <laughs> thing. Yeah, and for that, these both are good. Both and for some both. people that are relaxing, the. Uh, and I don't want to be rude here. One-handed browsing is important, and I and I've done that in bed with my phone. You know, if you're laying on your side, just browsing with one thumb, one finger, yeah. T9 keyboard can be pretty relaxing as well. It's funny when you're in those sort of situations: sofa, bed. You've got time. Things like the browser speed become less important. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's interesting to see how your devices change when you're in those sort of situations. But I think it's fair to say the S7 would be good at all of those, um, but it not it's not uh, the ideal. This is typical kind of UMPC territory where a device is is capable of doing a lot, 
but is really not a master of any of those things. It's it's yeah. a mobile, multi-use, multi-scenario device. And in fact, all of these devices, except for maybe the T91 and the T1028, which we can talk about in a minute, are uh, pretty much in that category. Um, okay, so that's the uh, T91. Let's quickly go to the uh, chat session and ask for people's questions. So if you've got questions on the T91 and the S7, or comparisons between the T91 and S7, Stick your questions in the uh, chat room now, and we'll try and uh, we'll try and uh, handle those. Brazil had a question about battery life, which we've talked about. Um, so there's a question about YouTube, which comes up a lot. There, can you load HD YouTube on S7? Yes, you can. You can load that fine, but you can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> None of these devices can do HD YouTube until um, until. Um, Adobe built in some capability that uses the hardware decoding for H.264. None of them are able to do HD, and even some of them yeah. don't even do high quality very well, depending on the the source uh, YouTube file. So, be careful if you want to do YouTube stuff. Um, to be honest, these uh, you probably want to be going for the Netbot platform for a re more reliable YouTube experience rather than the Menlo Silverthorne CPU pr uh, platform. Yeah. Vector problems. Uh, sure. All these screens have soft touch screens. Um, they're not active digitizers, so there's always a problem when you put your palm on them. Having said that, uh, the X70 has a certain amount of palm rejection, so if you can keep your pinky off the screen, it actually does a pretty good job at rejecting large area palms touching the screen at the same time as, as handwriting. JKK, have you, had, have you done any testing on that? Yeah, well, it's the same. Just like you said, it's not. Uh, it, there is nothing pawn resistive on that. Of course, uh, it has quite big frames, so that might ease the ease the job nicely. So, no, there's no resistive touchscreen really. That's really good for handwriting. So yeah. the old Fujitsu's had some some technology, but uh, I would say that that's not good either. Yeah, yeah. Um, we will. I will try and show you some Ron Tomlin's portrait PDF reading. Um, actually, I can tell you it works pretty well. I've done it on the X70, very nice, and it's the same screen on the S S7 and on the SC3 and on the SK3 and on the T91. So, yep, PDF reading will be okay. Uh, remember, th this resolution you can't get a full page of A4 on one screen without zooming in. Um, fingerprints, yep, you definitely need to be taking a cleaning cloth with you on these devices, uh, especially with glossy screen devices, uh, attract fingerprints um, pretty quickly, and I don't know about you JKK, but if I use my device in the car, for example, my X70, uh, fingerprints become a real annoyance on the glossy screen. Yeah, and wiping yeah. It the X70 has difference. way more glossy screen than the S7. Yep. T91 only available in glossy black. I don't know. Is it available in white now? Yeah. White, white is available too. Right. Uh, it's black and white actually. And the size compared to the M912. So that's the first edition of the Gigabyte uh, touchscreen convertible. Uh, the T91 is much. Uh, how can you? How can I um, quantify much? It's probably about 30% smaller in terms of volume than the uh, 912. The 912 is 1 1.3 yeah. kilos, so it's definitely yeah, it's much, much lighter. Um, different class uh, in terms of weight completely, I would say, and the 912X is a difficult to use uh, device when it's in tablet mode if you're just doing server surfing, stuff like that. Um, better on-screen keyboard, T91 versus S7, JKK. Uh they all suck. <laughs> <laughs> they all suck. On Windows 7, that's the first uh, actually quite good uh, on-screen keyboard. Everything else is bad. So, yep. they suck. I agree. I agree. Windows 7 has been one of the first touchscreen keyboards that has been a um, little bit intelligent, let's say. Most of the others yeah. are a basic keyboard pressing software and that's it key pressing software no intelligence uh, like you get on the iPhone keyboard or the Android keyboard or uh, one thing we need I'd like to see soon is swipe this uh, this new 
uh, on-screen keyboard from the inventors of T9. That could be quite interesting, but it will be definitely a learning curve on, on that one. Windows 7 keyboard's pretty good, I have to, uh, have to agree. Uh, battery on T91, only because of a larger screen? Uh, okay, statement. Yeah, same battery size. is... Is it the same size? Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? 30-something watts? Yeah. Yeah. Which device is faster? They are both using exactly the same processing platform. Um, same SSD speed? SSD controller. You'll be pushed to notice any difference in speed, I would say. Yeah. It's going to be 1-2% um, either way. Um, okay. So that looks like... Oh, uh, someone asked about upgrading the S7. It's a no-no if you're uh, into simple up let me yeah, finish yeah the, the SSD I believe it soldered like on others so T91 actually wins there because you can upgrade T91 uh, RAM easily so S7 you would have to fully disable it, uh, disassemble it but I think it's soldered I will of course check it out but uh, uh, it will be Hard to hard to change anyway. SSD, of course, you could change some other stuff. You could change, but you again would lose your warranty. Uh, on the T91, you have the hatch hatch for the RAM, so you can upgrade two gigs there. So that's a plus, especially if you're thinking of going to uh, to Windows 7. Yeah, we'll talk about an upgradable convertible in a minute with the Gigabyte t uh, Touch Note T1028 because that's a great one yeah. for that. All right, let's close down that section of the uh, Ustream uh, recording. And uh, in the next uh, part, we'll go on. I'll talk about Gigabyte Touch Note and some of the other convertible devices here. And then we'll go into a general uh, discussion, comparison between the devices and uh, another yeah. Q&A session. First, first some, some questions again about the keyboard. So uh, T91 has the overlay software for kids also. So I think it's for kids. I didn't really use it. I have the uh, Windows 7 on mine now because that's where it shines. Uh, you can on the Windows 7 you can resize. You can do plenty of good stuff with the keyboard. Where on the on the S5 keyboard it's static, st static, so it doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't change. It's always the same. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, thanks, OK. Let's uh, close that recording, Ustream recording down now. We'll carry on in a minute. Thanks and for. We have a one minute break. I yeah, guess. we'll take a break. I need to get some uh, some water.